Hi, you guys. This is Providence of Phil Sabrina Acapo and wanted to bring you a quick prophetic word that the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit one today. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit. I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word, with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy. Telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, that I do pray, amen, 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 and amen. So I heard the Holy Spirit say, get prepared and decree that thing because your marriage has been established get prepared and decree that thing because your marriage has been established so you guys i was taking a look through my one of my books and what stood out to me was decree that thing and it will be established that if you already believe in that thing and have faith in that marriage, because the Lord has warned you to have stability. He gave me 444 on today. And the Lord is saying, even if you don't see that thing happening, the Lord is saying, purchase that dress, purchase those shoes, get those items, start that preparation as if you already got that thing in your hand. Because Putting that action with that faith of Hebrews 11 and 1 is going to prepare ye the way for your settlement. Hebrews 11 and 1, that now faith, it is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things that you can not see. The Lord is saying, you don't have to physically see that thing because anything that's going to be done is going to be first done in the spirit. So the Lord is wanting you to make the necessary steps because if he gave you that promise you best believe that promise is shall and it will is going to come to pass what the lord says that settles it and he is bringing you in to marital settlement his word says it is not good for man to be alone i will make a helper that is compatible and suitable for him the Lord is saying, if it has already been promised to you, if it has already been confirmed to you on numerous times, you best believe nothing and no one is going to be able to stop it. Because when is that season in that Kairos time and that moment? It is coming to full fruition and manifestation. And the Lord gave me 1 Peter 5 and 10, that he is restoring you. He is confirming you. He is establishing you. He is strengthening you. And he is settling you. The Lord is saying you were fashionably inclined, designed, and you were aligned for this. And you have always believed this. The Lord is saying even though you may see a situation that you may not even understand, that something that you can't even fathom. Like say for instance, your person may even be with another person and you're trying to figure out like, how is that gonna happen? But the Lord is saying, if he said it's going to come to pass, it's not gonna be in the way that you're thinking it is. Jeremiah 29 and 11, the Lord says, for I know the plans and thoughts that I think toward you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a future and a hope if the Lord says it is going to happen. But he has a way that he's already inclined. He has a way that he's already designed it. And he always had you in mind. It's some preparation, it's some process that you have to go through and some testing that you have to go through. But you got to remember that tests and trials make us strong. And if he says this thing is happening, because that assignment is already written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So those chapters are going to go forth. Those chapters are going to be written. You're going to write your story. The Lord is going to get his glory. He's going to be glorified. The Lord has said, it's not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper that's suitable and compatible 
for him. The Lord has said at last, that marital settlement in this moment in time is birthing out 11-11. It is coming to pass. This is the hour of power that your marital settlement is coming to fruition, is coming to manifestation. That production is coming to pass. The Lord has said it's going to be everlasting. It is going to be to your satisfaction. Thus saith the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Don't forget to hit that notify bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah! To all of my new subscribers, you guys, welcome to the fam. I pray that this word has really edified, exhortated, and exalted your life in such a phenomenal way by the special grace and mercy of God. Looking at it from a natural perspective and what you're seeing with your eyes is like, it's unbelievable. Like, there's no way possible. But the Lord is saying that through him, all things are possible. And yes, it will happen. He's a yes and an amen. God, there's nothing that's too hard for him. For him. So it's a timing and a season that he will want to come forth. And I'm telling you, this marital settlement for you, all that he's promised, purposed, and predestined for you are is coming forth. The door has already been opened. The Lord has said, just stay in faith. Just prepare because that thing has already been decreed and declared and the Lord wants you to know that he is taking you there into that marital settlement for his kingdom according to his plan, his promise and purpose that will forever stay. It has already been written. That story of those chapters will go to the next level and you will see yourself. I know it's unbelievable, but the Lord is saying, you, each one of you had to go through a lesson, but it's going to come forth. You're going to walk into your marital settlement. You're going to walk into continuous manifested blessings. Continue trusting the process because the Lord is going to take you into those blessings. Those blessings are going to come upon you and overtake you because you chose to prepare, because you chose to walk in faith, because you chose to hearken unto his voice. And the Lord has said he's going to bless you in the city, in the field, coming in and going out. You'll be the head and not the tail above and not beneath a lender and not a bar that a man who finds a wife obtaineth favor from the Lord and you are his helper. You are also that man's favor and just like Esther that king has already identified you. You have already been favored and approved by that king. So this thing is happening. It's going to be a different process. It's going to be different than any other situation because you have some people, friends and everything around it um, is in your spouse's ear. For some of you guys, this word is not going to be for everybody. So the mindsets and all got to be changed. It's just a whole thing that the Lord is working out, but this thing is coming to surface. Their eyes are being open and they're beginning to see things the way the Lord wants them to see it. They're beginning to see things the way the Lord wants them to see it. And not taking a word of man, but taking a word of God and just dedicating their self to God and um, availing their self to God and also going in prayer and asking God what is the situation? What is the circumstance as far as where I stand as far as marital settlement? Because this is something that they also want as well. But they're just wanting to make sure that it's going to be something that's going to be long lasting and it's not going to be something that's based on their past. So the Lord is working on their mindset, but you got to know, keep preparing stay in faith because the Lord is saying your marital settlement is up and coming and you are next. Thus saith the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Keep the comments, the likes, the shares, the words of encouragement, the prayers come because I'm telling you they definitely keep me afloat just like Peter walking on that water, knowing that we have touched down, knowing that we have touched surface, knowing that we would never drown. 
Thank you so much for sowing into this ministry. Thank you so much for the super thanks. I love you guys. I am always praying for you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see you guys all through to the greatness of success of God's best. And definitely like, share, and subscribe over there. Just placed a short over there on Destined for Marital Bliss 1000. So definitely go in that house and like, share, and subscribe. And I'm telling you, it's going to be some exceptional content coming over that way because this is the season for that mountain to take full fruition, to take full manifestation. That's why I have been prepping and preparing because I know that the Lord orchestrated this. I know that this was something that was written in the story so the Lord's name can be glorified. This is that month where it is coming out and it is going forth in stride and in alignment his way. We will never be led astray what his word says if he said it be prepared for it and know that you can decree that thing and believe by faith and the lord is going to establish it that's pertaining to every single aspect and area of your life as well as your marital settlement because he longs for you to have the best and he longs for you to have that marital blessing to fulfill promise purpose in this the way he predestined it the way he intended it to be for the whole wide world to see. Oh, he's got to get the glory. He's got to get that preview version of your story. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Once again, I love you guys and we will most certainly talk on the next. God richly bless you. Bye-bye.